In our homes we try to automate everything possible, but no matter how well automated our homes are, we always need to turn on or off something manually. Using the phone for that purpose is not always convenient and fast, so I come up with the idea to make a board-like device based on ESP that will be always on the desk or on a nightstand. It has 10 low-profile RGB illuminated keyboard switches. To make it more interactive, I included in the project small 1-inch OLED display. I think it's enough for notification. On the display shows Wi-Fi power, air temperature, phone battery percentage, and the name Magic Deck. When a Magic Deck receives a new notification, it shows the message in place of the name. If the display area is not enough for you, you can use another display. ESP Home supports a lot of different I2C displays. Also, it has a built-in buzzer, with the possibility of playing different melodies for the different type of notifications. But before I carry on, I want to inform you that I have opened an online shop, so after each finished project, I will put for sale a few assembled PCBs. For those who do not have time to assemble PCBs themselves, link in the video description. I added rotary encoder too. Encoder available in Home Assistant as a sensor, which give values from 1 to 100. With help of automation, you can use it for dimming lights or maybe for controlling music volume. And like a cherry on the cake, I added gesture sensor, which can detect hand swipes, like left and right, or it can be used as a proximity sensor. When it detects close object like hand, it can wake up the magic deck. Trigger distance can be adjusted. But if you use it as a proximity sensor and gesture sensor at the same time, the result is not accurate and not responsive enough. If you want to make project with this sensor, which is fully supported by ESP Home, there is a link in the video description. And all that soldered on this beautiful PCB provided by today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is one-stop solution for all your electronic project needs, offering not only high-quality PCB manufacturing and assembly, but also 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding and sheet metal fabrication at competitive prices. Basically, everything you need to make your DIY project. Check them out with the link in the video description. Let me show you how the device looked like from inside. I was in a hurry and did not let the glue dry completely before assembly. Because of this white coating is appeared. Rotary encoder has two output, PVM and I2C. But I2C interface is not supported by ESP Home. So I am using PVM output, which connected to analog input of the ESP. The working principle of this IC is very simple. It measures the angle of the magnetic field, of the magnet which is glued to the knob. Now about settings. Everything is controlled by scenes and automations. In the ESP Home, I divided the LED strip into individual LEDs. Now all LEDs have their own entity, so it's possible to control all LEDs individually. In config side I made a few scenes. One for night mode, all illumination is turned off. One for normal mode, where OLED is off, for preserving OLED lifespan, but RGB illumination is on. One for wake up mode, when the button is pushed or received a new notification, and one for each button. Config is very simple, automation activates different scenes for keys and OLED backlight. Message is displayed on the screen by using text sensor. Since this is the prototype and I made mistakes, I need to make some modifications, so I will free up all GPL pins that connected to the keyboard. Instead of connecting all buttons directly to ESP, I will use GPIO expansion IC, which works by I2C and it will free up 10 GPIO ports, which are we used to connect RFID, NFC readers, which you can use to scan various NFC or RFID tags. If you are crazy enough and you have RFID implant, you can scan your implant too. In Home Assistant we can set up different action for different tags. And I want to add pins on the back side of the board, for easy connection of different radio modules which will allow you to use Magic Deck like RF Bridge, such as a son of RF Bridge, so you can use cheap radio cave apps to control various devices, like lights, garage doors and much more. 
Also, the IR receiver and transmitter for controlling TVs and various home appliances. If they're free pins, why not use them, right? I think after all those modifications, Magic Deck has the potential to become an important part of the smart home. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, now it's a great time. I've got a bunch of videos on the way. See you soon.